Hello all, Shoestring here. I have a new inexpensive battery I wanted to show you. This is a Seacon, I believe that's how you pronounce it. 12 volt and uh, 100 amp hour lithium battery. Another very inexpensive one. This one last I looked was under $200, so that's really good. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. I've already cut it open for us to make it a little easier. And, uh, let's go ahead and get it out of there. Take the protection off plastic bag. It was packed fairly well. What do we have? We have a manual and, of course, the bolts. All right. All right. That's pretty good. So let's look at the manual. User manual 12.8, which is nominal at 12, and 100 amp hour, which is what it said. LiPo 4. <sighs> see if there's anything important about it. We want to see... I think that says it wants to be charged every three months if not used. That would be interesting. Basic parameters are always important. You want 20 amp charge. And uh, recommended voltage charge 14.6. That's important for your uh, charge controllers. And the BMS shuts off at 10. So that's also good. It also says it has low temperature uh, protections on it and that would be nice okay and uh let's see i always like to know about yes parallel in series this says you can do at least four most do some will do a little bit more right but this one says four which is pretty standard and uh just tells you how to do it i have several videos on parallel in series if you're interested okay so we're going to set that down take it out of the plastic see if i can see any damage on it um, don't see any uh, this says it's for battery group 31 that's the size of the case if you need to know information like that for where you want to put your battery at. Made in China, of course, they all are. Even though they have a warehouse in the United States and they have a customer service center in the United States, which is always very helpful if you run into a problem. Nothing unusual on the battery. Says nominal is going to be 12 and 12.8 uh, and 100 amp hour. So nothing big and important there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set this up to charge. While we're doing that, we'll discuss a few things, okay? They, it has a five-year warranty, which is about standard. That's pretty good. Um, it says that its BMS is made where it has pulse equalization as well as low temperature protection. And it has all the standard stuff, of course, uh, overcharging, over-discharging, short circuit protection, all the things you would expect in a modern BMS. I'm going to take these off, put on the bolts, and then I'm going to take it, of course, I'm going to charge it all the way up. Then I'm going to take it in and do a capacitor test and test it on the computers. When I'm finished with that, I'll let you know the results. And then we will come up here, back here, and we will do my fan test which is the real test for all these batteries, to see if they will run equipment with motors. I will use my fans, as I normally do, and see how it runs real world. Okay, I'm going to charge it up, test it in the lab, and then I'll see you back up here if it passes all those for the real test. See you then. Okay, folks, we have charged the battery all the way up, took it in the lab and tested it. It actually did 105 amps, so that's actually pretty good. But, as you know, I want to give this the fan test, which is what I'm calling these now, because I like to test these things real world and make sure they actually do what they're supposed to do. And then one of the most difficult things for a battery to do is pull something with a motor. And that's why I normally use fans. I have it already connected to this 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter, a kilowatt connected to it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the inverter on. 
and the uh, kilowatt, of course, comes on. And we'll take it to zero. And here are the fans. We want to get them up to 100 watts. Because that's what I want to pull. I want to pull 100 watts so we can pull it slowly and make sure it'll actually pull what it's supposed to in the real world. As you can see, it's up to 82 now. I'll in increase the speed of the fans until we get it up to 100 or fairly close to 100. All right, so that's 90. All right, just a bit more. 99, 98, right in there is what we're looking for. All right, so what we're going to do, since this is a 12-volt, 100-amp-hour battery, is we're going to let this run, and it should run between 10 and 12 hours, pulling 100 watts if it does what it's supposed to do. And that's what we're testing. Okay, so... We will come back out here when it shuts down and take a look of exactly how long it took and where we're at. See you then. All right, folks, we're back. This has been running over 10 hours. As you can see from the timer, it's running over 10 hours. So it has technically passed our test, which means this is a battery that will run for the amount of time and volts it says it will. So shoestring can recommend this inexpensive battery to you. Don't forget it has all the standard protections you would expect. I'll put those up where you can see them. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe and share. I'm going to let this run to see just how far it will run. And we get to the very end, I'll come back out and show you again how long it actually lasted. But at the moment, it is doing an excellent job. And this is the battery that you can really count on if you're going to use it in a real-world situation. Okay, so it has finally collapsed. As you can hear that god-awful noise. So it has made it over 12 hours. Let me go ahead and turn that off so the sound will stop. So it ran these two fans over 12 hours, which is very, very good for a 12.8 100-amp-hour battery. And I want to point out for the low price of this battery, it also has low temperature cutoff, which is very good. You normally find those in higher priced ones. So it has all the standard protections. It has equalization for your batteries. You can put four in parallel or a series. And like I said, this passed our test, so I will recommend this battery. If it will meet your needs, look it up. I'll have a link underneath. Oh. By the way, I don't tear batteries up and open them up because I use the batteries I get, and I can't really afford that. But there are some people who have, on their videos on YouTube, open this up and let you see what's inside. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link to one of those, or two of those, down in the description so you can see it. Okay, so, as I said before, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and shoestring out.